Uh, this half hour, we're going to start with some health news and something that you don't want to talk about, you don't want to look at. Bunions. They can be painful, and they affect nearly one in three Americans. It can be really painful turning uh, your daily walking into a, a real struggle, okay? But now, breakthrough technology is transforming bunion surgery, giving doctors unprecedented precision in planning procedures and helping patients recover faster than ever before. Uh, we're just in time for Bone and Joint Health Awareness Month. That's in October. We're joined right now by board certified orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Michael Campbell. Doctor, thanks for joining us here this morning. My pleasure. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Yeah. Thank you for uh, talking about this. Uh, you know, it's something that people experience. I, I've had some friends that had to go through it and they were in pain for many weeks. Tell us, uh, let's start with just the broad stuff. What exactly is a bunion and how is it caused and why does it cause so much pain? Sure. So, well, I mean, I think the first thing is you hit the nail on the head. Um, it, it's a, it's a annoying problem with the foot and it's a common problem. Almost everyone knows someone who's been through bunion surgery or has a bunion. Um, and there's absolutely no condition that people show up in my office with, with more preconceived notions about than bunions. Um, I think a lot of the times because of what they've heard from their friends or their family, um, what a bunion is, is a deformity where the big toe starts to deviate outward. All right. And when my patients show up, usually what they say is I've had this lump on my toe or I have this red spot when I wear my shoes. Um, really, as a, you know, as an orthopedic surgeon, what, what, I, what I see is a, a foot where the, the structure and the alignment is breaking down and the bones are starting to shift um, out of place. Hmm. It's okay. something that is progressive. And um, the good news is it's something now that um, we have really some good treatments for. Yeah. So how do you know when it is time for surgery? So that's a good question. You know, um, in the old days, the, uh, the old adage used to be, you know, wait until it was horrible, um, till you couldn't walk, till you couldn't put pressure on it. Um, that's probably not the best advice. Um, you know, if you, I, I like the analogy of, you know, if your car, you know, starts making a noise and, and you know something's wrong. Um, I personally don't wait until it's broken down on the side of the road to do something about it. I'm going to bring it into the mechanic before. And it's the same thing with the foot. Um, earlier intervention is probably going to result in a better outcome and, and less collateral damage to the rest of the foot that can happen when you have a bunion like this. All right. So let's talk about this new technology. How does it differ from uh, bunion surgery? What's the approach? Sure. Well, so um, first off, I love talking about this. This is something I, I, I'm super enthusiastic about. Um, when I first started practice, bunion surgery um, was a lot of art. And um, you really had to um, go into the operating room. And once you got in there, figure out how you were going to correct all these different issues. Um, Virtue Guide um, was developed by Johnson & Johnson MedTech. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. Um, it is a system that uses um, preoperative software where we can actually do the surgery digitally in the office. I can actually show the patient um, before they go to the operating room what you know their foot will look like when we're done. Um, and um, what's neat about it is it gives a specific reconstruction um, that's tailored exactly to that patient and that foot deformity. Um, it's surgery, so there obviously is the you know potential of you know complications just like there's with any surgery. But there's a lot of potential benefits. This this new technology allows me to be more precise, um, fewer incisions um, than we would historically do. And and really the nice part is um, the accuracy. Um, you know your surgeon, you want them to be a, a scientist and not an artist. You want them to get it right the first time every time, and that's what this is designed to help with. Yeah, that, that was wild graphics, uh, just showing us what it, how it can be done. Uh, obviously, a major advantage to you as a surgeon then. So w walk us through what the, what the surgery looks like. Sure. So, um, out, well, and, and obviously, you know, different surgeons have different protocols. I, I can speak um, in, in my practice with my patients. It's an outpatient surgery. Patient goes home the same day. Um, frequently now, we do it with sedation. Um, in some cases, general anesthesia. Um, the, um, the surgery afterwards, I allow my patients to weight bear on it immediately, which means, you know, you can walk. You know, patients are always wondering, how am I going to get out of the car? How am I going to get into the house afterwards? And I tell them, you just, you just walk up the steps. You have to just wear a special shoe. Um, really, the, you know, the long term and, and the hope and the, and the goal of the procedure is a, a painless foot um, that will fit into any type of shoe that you want um, with a full return, full activities, you know, no limitations ultimately. Um, it's a... Um, really rewarding when you get there, um, but just take some time. 
Yeah, do, do people get back on their feet faster then from uh, the traditional surgery? And who makes a good candidate? Sure. So, um, so you know, I think anyone who is having foot pain like this should go see, you know, a, a, a foot and ankle specialist. Um, that's... Um, uh, and, and, and really, it's going to be your doctor who's going to help you decide, you know, when the time is to do the surgery and, and if the surgery is the right surgery for you. Um, there are only some, you know, lots of doctors do bunion surgery. There's only a handful that um, use this new technology. You can find those doctors at personalizedbunioncorrection.com. Um, the, I, I think, I think the, uh, uh, the patients who benefit from the, this the most are the ones, you know, who are starting to have problems, you know, doing the things that they want to do or wearing the shoes that they want to wear. Yeah, very fascinating. Uh, and and it looks like uh, AI and just everything, all the technology is helping helping you in this field. So uh, real promising for for patients having to to deal with that. Should they ask any questions, patients who might be considering surgery or, or bunion surgery? Should they ask their doctors anything specific? Yeah. So, um, well, obviously, uh, you know, I'm, I'm highly biased. I think, uh, you know, my patients are getting this technique and this technology, and I, I think it's a superior way to do it. Um, that's, you know, my opinion and my experience. Um, but the other thing I think that's always important, probably with any surgery for, for any patient, any condition, is you want to go to a surgeon who does a high volume. Um, you know, that's, that's been shown in, uh, you know, across orthopedics. Um, high volume surgeons tend to do, um, you know, more surgery, better surgery, faster surgery, and, and probably have on statistically better outcomes. Um, that's, I think, probably one of the important things. And then, um, you know, it's finding a surgeon who, you know, you get along with and, and you kind of see eye to eye with before you jump into something because it's a, uh, it's a big deal. Yeah. It sure is. All right. Well, well, thank you for that enlightening conversation, Dr. Michael Campbell. Appreciate your time as uh, bunion surgery sounds like it's come a long way. It has. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Here on Live Impact News on WCNC Plus. Uh, wow, if you are considering or know somebody that needs to get their bunions dealt with, that sounds uh, quite promising. So good luck to you.